ради которых, по мнению старых политиков и нынешней псевдоэлиты, нужно прозябать. He also wrote, The time of pro-Western and pro-Russian politicians in Ukraine is long gone. The Ukrainian people need the rule of law, peace and new political leaders. But the British claims of a Russian plot to install a pro-Kremlin regime ran true in Kiev, even if the name of its potential leader didn't. Muraev is one of that people they would love to see in the new government, but at the same time, I, I have uh, serious uh, doubts that uh, he is the leader of that, you know, uh, group, uh, because he's not significant enough. It shows how Russia's military buildup around Ukraine isn't the only worry for Western allies that suspect a hidden hand as well. In a rare release of classified information, the UK also alleged other former Ukrainian politicians are in contact with Russian spies, apparently involved in planning for an attack on Ukraine. Sky News understands the claim was based on a UK intelligence analysis that drew on US-led intelligence. It's a very unusual thing for the Foreign Office to do, and no doubt it's based on uh, intelligence gathering uh, at the highest level. Um, But I think it's a useful uh, thing to do because what it demonstrates to Russia very clearly is that we know their intent. We are in no doubt at all as to what they're trying to achieve. The Kremlin strongly denied the allegations, accusing the UK of peddling fake news. But this crisis is real and the stakes are high. Ukraine's ambassador to the UK spelling out what it might mean if attempts by Western allies to defuse tensions with Russia fail. We have nowhere to, to go. I mean, we corner it in our own biggest land in Europe. We will fight to death, unfortunately. So many people of our nation will probably die, but we will try to get to that world as many Russians as they come. New shipments of US weapons to bolster Ukraine's defenses against any new Russian attack, even though neither side has yet given up on a diplomatic route out of this standoff. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.